and I have my uh, rev limiter set to about 7.5 it's because of it's not I'm not making power anymore so there's no sense for me to set it more than that otherwise I'm just slowly wearing out the motor uh, it's sure it's nice to hear that or see the needle bounce back and forth and you hear this pop 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 right and then you shift there's no other feeling like that but like I said uh, I'm not making power anymore past 7.2 it just falls off that thing looks cool with a turbo manifold Yeah, this uh, motor, this piston setup I have on there is not really good for uh, turbocharging this engine, so this is a uh, no-no. But uh, this one will work. Yeah. Not a bad looking header. Just that the only problem with it is it hangs down so low yeah I really have to do something about this uh, downpipe I'm gonna cut it I, I can't leave it like that yeah otherwise it's gonna be a pancake but all in all it's not a bad looking header at all anyway uh, welcome back to the channel guys Today's episode is not about this header, nor this turbo manifold. I'm just trying it out for kicks. And today's episode is to answer one of my subscribers' question. He was asking about what is the safest rev limit or maximum RPM he could rev his motor. So that is today's topic. Uh, I'm just going to give you my opinion about it. And I do have a two sets of Dynograft in here uh, I will show you this one and I'm gonna use this for an, an example uh, this Dynograft both of these are belong to this motor back in the day when I was using this on my CD5 Accord but this one another G23 that I built for my uh, nephew way back in 2015 about seven years ago and I kind of his is the green one and I kind of copy his dynograph and just kind of paste it on there just for comparison wise because I wanted to know why his uh, setup made more horsepower than mine but I'm gonna begin on this one uh, this is way back in 2016 and this motor made 206.9 wheels horsepower at 7.2 rpm as you can see it goes up and this is the highest peak at 7.2 and then it started to go down yeah it's slowly going down it's not making power anymore and this is the same one the green one is for my uh nephew yeah it made more power than mine it has the same uh, internals except for different block and also he's got more uh, aftermarket support on this one he's got bigger injectors and everything um, but still from 7.2 right there it slightly drops up also that's very impressive power right there look at the difference between these two right here at five and a half rpm it's almost like where the uh, VTEC kicks in the red one and the compared to the uh, green one look at that that's a big jump man so yeah his also is 7.5 right there look at your dyno graph and see your highest peak 
and just set your rev limiter just pass beyond that so i have my uh, rev limiter set at 7.5 because my engine is not making power anymore yeah all i'm doing if i go beyond that i'm just slowly wearing out the motor but look at your dynograph and see your highest peak and just set your rev limiter just pass beyond that and you should be good to go on some engines that are well supported by some parts and also uh, heavily modified you will see that some of those engines it's making power beyond like 8,000 or 9,000 rpm but take note uh, the G23 the F23 crankshaft together with the uh, K20 pistons is not really well the rod stroke is not really ideal set up for that motor we're not supposed to be re over revving that motor something has to give in my opinion um, lucky for me I have this dynograph so I know where it's making power and where it, it doesn't make power anymore so this will be my safest maximum rpm range is 7.5 right there and i can make that engine or this engine last a little bit longer so that will be the safest margin for this setup since i have the dynograph so if you have the dynograph uh yeah just do the same thing and yeah the highest peak slightly past that because i want to save my motor for slowly wearing out that's why i set mine at 7.5 so hopefully this will help you out and also the others and uh, i'm gonna end the video here guys i'll see you guys back bye everyone take care